Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel again. We are headed down to Biloxi, Mississippi for cruising the coast. Super cool event. Uh, this event has been uh, been held for roughly 26, 27 years. Um, it is basically like one of the largest classic car rallies in the country. Um, every single year, about 50,000 or so uh, classic cars, you know, spectators and whatnot, they all ascend on Biloxi, Mississippi for uh, like a, an entire week of nothing but uh, car shows and events and all kinds of automotive enthusiasts attractions but it's a really really cool event something i've been wanting to do for a long time so i'm about to load up the 442 cutlass so i can take that down there to biloxi uh it's about a six and a half hour drive so um hopefully we'll get down there in a pretty good time but uh, we're going to be down there for the whole week but i will definitely get lots of content uh you'll definitely want to watch this video all the way through most likely we'll do probably a part one uh probably day one day two day three day four so it'll be a multiple uh upload uh content so <clears throat> so definitely watch all the videos so you can get all the foot all the footage all the content guys please give this video a thumbs up hit that like button for me also if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel as well and of course if you do subscribe tap that notification bell next to the subscribe button okay, this guy loaded up later well guys uh man it sucks but looks like we've run into an issue with our trailer uh we were driving down i-10 and uh unfortunately we had a bearing that failed on us uh so I, I saw some smoke coming from the trailer so i pulled over as soon as i noticed it and uh got out and took a look at it and sure enough we have a bearing that failed so um it's not safe to drive the truck like that. Uh, fortunately, I was lucky enough to get uh, close to, I was, I was fortunate enough that we stopped close to um, a trailer repair shop. They took a look at it and said that, you know, it would have, they'd have to order parts and everything. It'd be in the morning before they can do the repair. So, uh, so we're just gonna have to camp out here for the night. Uh, we're close to a hotel so we can, we can grab a room. But uh, in the meantime, we're, we're stuck here. Uh, we're in Orange, Texas right now. So, um, but yeah, um, it looks like one of our days is going to be unfortunately lost due to uh, to a trailer failure. It happens, man. It happens. Just imagine if I drove the car, could just as likely have an issue with the car along the way. You just never know, right? These old cars. It's, that's it right there. Just the bearing failed, and this thing was just racking around like that uh, all right guys so uh, day two of our our trip um, <clears throat> trailer 
ended up being a lot worse than what we thought. We Luckily, we were able to find uh, a local uh, trailer repair shop that um, was able to diagnose the issue. And what ended up happening was we thought it was just a bearing issue. When they, you know, upon further, further inspection, they found a number of other issues with the trailer and uh, some, some safety issues that really needed to be addressed in order for us to, you know, to safely pull the trailer. So we went ahead and stayed an extra day to get them to take care of that. And um, we should be on our way here in a minute, but you know, it's one of those things, man, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what you're gonna encounter. But uh, fortunately we were able to, uh, you know, identify the issue ahead of time before it caused any more trouble and we're able to get it fixed. So I'm just thankful for that. Uh, but we will be on our way and continue the rest of our trip uh, with pockets that are a little bit lighter than they were before. So brand new bearings all the way around. We did a, did a bearing job on it all the way around. All four wheels. Also had to replace an axle on the front. So this is a, this is a brand new axle right here on the front. And then we did bearings all the way around. Uh, also had to weld one of the hangers because it had a huge crack in it. But uh, it should be ready to roll, ready to roll. Trailer does still have some other issues, but they're minor enough to where it, uh, you know, it won't be an issue that'll cause us any trouble on the road. But for the most part, it should be okay. By the way, if you rent from these guys here, this is a rented trailer, if you rent from these guys here, my advice to you is to steer clear of them. They are definitely, they do not practice ethical business practices. Uh, and, um, you know, I'll probably share another video later about my experience with them, but we're gonna have to probably take them to court to cover up, pay for all the damages that we had to pay for out of pocket because they're saying that we're responsible for that. But <clears throat> we know that that's, that's not the case, and hopefully the judge will see it our way. Fresh new dust boots. Ooh bearings and then we had to at the well this right here also that's a new well uh, the hanger pictures and she said she was gonna send them to you yeah exactly yeah i have some of the here's some bare wire showing right <laughs> on some of the wires yeah boy i tell you they really yeah, did a number on us like these all they had to do was get shorter bolts yeah i don't i don't understand they just use spacers as i mean Shackles the spacers. Wow. Instead of putting one in shorter bolts. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely I was rigging some stuff up over there, sounds like. Oh yeah. And I wish when I when we first got Do not rent from these guys. Alright guys, so I'm here at uh at Flying J. <clears throat> I'm weighing my truck and trailer with the car. Also did it without the car, by just the car by itself and also the trailer by itself, just so I can get an idea of how much the car weighs, how much the trailer weighs alone, so I can get a, you know, get a good understanding of uh, how much strain we're putting on the trailer and if it's, you know, if it's safe and within the uh, limits of the trailer. So um, the trailer by itself weighs 2,700 pounds. The, uh, the car weighs 3,800 pounds by itself. So I think all together, um, I forgot whatever that number is. It's less than 7,000 pounds. I, I'll just put it like that. I, my math's not that great. But uh, just want to show you all this. If you ever want to get your, your weight on your car and you don't want to have to go to the track, you can go to any one of these truck stops and uh, they have scales. You can just pull up on there. You can pull up to it, get, get on the scale, and then they have somebody inside that will print out a ticket with your, uh, with your weight information. So part of the reason why I'm doing this is because the trailer we rented, the trailer rental company, uh, Trailer City, uh, tried to insinuate that we had the trailer overloaded and that's why the bearing fell on the trailer Which couldn't be further from the truth because this car is only 3,800 pounds and This trailer should be rated at at least 7,000 pounds plus with the axles that it has on it So this is just further proof that we, we got basically a bad trailer. We got a lemon, right? So uh, just wanted to make sure I proved that point Eight hours later All right guys, so I made it finally after uh, two and a half exhausting days of uh, man, just, you know, heartbreak, 
in despair. I finally made it to Biloxi, Mississippi for cruising the coast. Uh, so I'm here in the uh, parking structure at the hotel I'm staying at, the Golden Nugget. Nugget. And uh, I'm here amongst some of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen. Um, I'm, I'm, I know I'm here late. It's like probably 11 o'clock, 11, 11.30. So I know most of the fun is probably already over for the day, uh, but it's Friday. So I got all Saturday to shoot footage and get content. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. But with a little bit of time I got tonight, I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit. Uh, I'm just kind of geeked and excited because I'm here finally, finally I'm here uh, at Biloxi uh, car, cruising the coast. So, uh, but I'm gonna walk around and shoot some of the stuff here that's in the parking garage. And of course, I'm gonna hop in uh, the Cutlass. I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna bend a few blocks and uh, maybe see what I can see. But anyways, guys, just, I'm excited I'm here. Um, hope you guys like this content. I'm out guys, I'm out in the strip, I'm riding. Um, there ain't really a whole lot going on right now uh, because it's after 11, almost 12 o'clock. So most people, unfortunately, have already packed up for the night and made it to their rooms or whatnot. But I just had to get it out of my system. I had to, I had to come, around, come down the strip one time just to get it out of my system so I can, uh, you know, go back to the room and lay it down and, and rest up for tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of really nice cars so far. Man, it feels so good out here, man. This weather is nice. I mean, it is perfect. Nice, cool breeze. And it's like uh, probably about 75 degrees out here. I mean, it feels good perfect weather for cruising like I said not a whole lot of a lot of people out and about cruising in classics so I'm probably we'll probably make this short head on back to the hotel